Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. Along with Charlie and Braylon, I'm Reed. CBS Sports compiled its list of the 100 best NFL players in the 2023 season. And no surprise who came out on top. Patrick Mahomes is a clear choice, is a clear top choice. First off, the second Super Bowl and t- title and two regular season MVPs in the past five seasons. At just 27 years old, Mahomes is a current pace to be in the conversation for the NFL's greatest QBs. Quarterbacks went 1, 2, and 3 in CBS play rankings. The Bills' Josh Allen came in second, and Joe Burrow of the Bengals rounded it out at 3. Last year's number one player, Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, slipped in the ninth spot. One of the biggest question marks entering the, uh, the upcoming NBA season centers around John Murray. Memphis Grizzlies all star guard will serve a season, to start the season serving a minimum 25 game suspension for his off the court behavior. The suspension could exceed 25 games if he does not meet certain, requir- certain conditions. Morant will be ineligible for any team activities during his suspension. The, the Grizzlies have responded well to Morant's absences in the past. Memphis went 11 and 10 playing without Morant last season, but in the 2021 2022 season, they went 25 and Morant was not available to play. The college football season is fast approaching with seven games scheduled for Week 0 on August 26th, including two major programs, Notre Dame and USC, opening their seasons early. The Fighting Irish face Navy in Dublin, Ireland for the first time since 2012, and Southern Cal hosts San, Diego, San, San Jose State. Both USC and Notre Dame are expected to be in the college football playoff chase this coming season, especially after quarterback Sam Hartman transferred to Notre Dame and USC has defending Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams returning. Most college football teams begin their season the first weekend of September for the traditional week one schedule. Major League Baseball is enjoying an attendance resurgence with internal proje- internal pro- projections pointing to a full season attendance increase of 68%. That is encourage- encouraging news from MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who says 22 of the 30 MLB clubs are currently up in attendance. A year ago, Major League Baseball experienced its lowest attendance figure since 1997. Manfred points, points out that there were strong fan receptions of the pitch clock, larger bases, and a ban on extreme defensive shifts. Since adding the pitch clock in April, the average MLB game is 26 minutes shorter than in 2022. MLB games, MLB games have not been this short in 40 years. The United States women's soccer team goes for a 3 P at this summer's Women's World Cup in Australia, Australia and New Zealand. The U.S. women captured the title in 2019 and 2015. England, the European champion, is also one of the top contenders. This year's field is the largest ever with 32 teams competing compared to 24 in previous tournaments. More than 1 billion people around the world will be watching the competition. The United States beat the Netherlands in 2019 finals, an average of 82.2 million viewers watching worldwide. Uh, That's it for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Charlie and Braylon, I'm Reed Bauer. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.